Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Paul and I am joined, of course, by the incredible, incredible Jesse Hernandez, also known as the Urban Astic. How you doing, man? Good, how you doing, brother? Thanks for having me. If it's cool with you, I wanna jump right into it, man. I for love sure. this piece. The first time you've gotten to see it yeah, in person. Yeah. And uh, the first thing we said is like, it's a lot wider than we thought. Absolutely, the, the scale bugged me out from the moment I saw it, you yeah. know, from, you know, getting to finally see this piece in person. I knew the dimensions, but seeing it, you know, physically, you're like, wow, that's that's a beast right there. So when you started like sketching and you knew what you wanted to do with this piece, did you envision it to be this wide or is this still even kind of taking you back a little bit? I mean, he's a centerpiece for sure. He sure is, centerpiece of this interview. We just happened to be here. And, right? <laughs> uh, it's, I mean, it's incredible, man. You did a great job. I had to do with everything. It's beautiful. Um, so, I mean, I've got to ask, so Batman is iconic. For like, sure. It's an iconic, I mean, you, you know Batman when you see him. So. I mean, what did you, like, as Urban Aztec, what, what from Urban Aztec did you want to bring into The Dark Knight? How do you re-envision Batman, right? So right. you got to get, you know, like, um, A, we got to get some Lucha Libre action in there. So of you course. see the mask is tied right. in. And we can turn him around here. You know, he's got the, the dope chess piece you imagine that he would be coming out to rock with. Okay. Ooh. I love it. Fire. And I do kind of like that the, uh, you know, sort of the shoulder pads kind of look like he's doing yeah. this thing. Where it's like, like, look at the back of my jersey type. So like he could come in, he could fly in like, like, you know, the OG Batman style, you know, it could be just for, you know, psyching fools out looking bigger and bigger, <laughs> you know, uh, but we wanted to be semi-functional so he could actually, you know, oh, rock yeah. with it. Um, and then as like, you know, a straight, you know, warrior style, like how would he look, you know, yeah. so with the mask and everything, they just intimidate anybody that stepped near him. Yeah, and that warrior style that you bring up, it, it's very evident in this because, you know, we were talking about it a little bit. Every part of this looks like a weapon, like from yeah. his, from like the sh the horns here to this. I mean, is this? Um, I mean, this is obviously on purpose, but is this as like you imagine it? Like you imagine him as this aggressive version of Batman? For sure. I mean, you want like every every piece of him to look like. Well, that's cool, and it could kill me. Yeah, you know of that? course, naturally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Batman is normally. Right, you don't right. Even but want with to be a, too close a little to bit car. more pop, a little <laughs> bit more. You know, get some gold in there. Yeah. Some red, some intimidation he's got, factors. He's got some more drip now, you finally. Know, yeah. He doesn't completely drip into the shadows. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of like, you know, if you've seen him, you'd be like, oh, snap, I saw him, bro. It's time to go. Yeah, we, like, we, yeah, we, better, <laughs> we better wrap it up. We obviously here know who you are because we love your work. But if someone who is maybe just tuning in for the first time, like, who is Urban Aztec? Like, where did that come from? Man, so um, the name comes from, I guess, kind of trying to uh, describe my style, right? Which is like co a combination of you know, graffiti flavor, pop, you know, style like that mixed with uh, the indigenous uh, roots in it. So it's got a lot of cultural ties in uh, being, you know, Aztec, Mayan, you know, myself being um, of uh, Mexican descent. I like to holler it back to the indigenous roots, of course. right, of where we're all coming from, trying to add some of that identity in there to represent for uh, for the gente, man, you know, so. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Hernandez takeover show. Yeah, yeah, Today, for sure. Yeah, I gotta represent. This is my cousin right here, so hey, what are we up? gonna do? I love like the detail in this because the the colors are, are very obvious, but the one thing that I love that you added into this that maybe you can add is the, the very distinct points of like red. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. How do you go about choosing like which colors to put on where with this piece? Because Batman, like you said, is already so iconic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's tough, bro, because like with the colors, you want to keep it the balance and harmony is really, you know, right. a big deal to me too, right? So, you know, you don't want to overdo it in one direction or another, like you're trying to pull people's eye in different spots, uh, but then at the same time, make sure it's balanced all throughout. Right, because this, this yellow could become very like overpowering, like if it's too much For in sure. it, right? And then you kind of lose Batman, but you look at this and you're like, oh no, that's Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can see, like, I love that you outlined the wings with And it. that's, you know, to me, I thought keeping the wings for the silhouette of the original right. logo, like was like, we had to do it, you know, just cause it looks so hard on the bust. Oh, it's you know, sick. So that if you saw the silhouette, you're like, that's Batman. Yeah, Like 100%. no matter what. I'm a huge DC fan. Got you. So yeah, yeah. I love this piece specifically in this particular style. I mean, like when you're doing this, where do you have, like, do you have to like prevent yourself from going too much urban Aztec into it and be like, it's, no, it still I mean, has to be Batman. It's tough because I'm always trying to really, um, you know, represent the original, but then also, right flip it in a new direction, but awesome. always so that you would know it's both all the time. Right, you know, right. So trying to like mash those together, but then at the same time, whatever you create, you can tell is both. You know, like right. you get some of your style into it, but then also always represent that it's still Batman. Of course. You know? Yeah. I mean, I've got to ask like, why Batman? Like, is he like one of your favorite DC characters? He's, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's my absolute favorite DC right? character. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, Batman, I mean, come on. That's everybody's favorite DC character, bro. 
to me, I mean, getting to work on any of these is a huge honor, bro. Right. Like, it's, I mean, it, it blows my mind every time when, when we get to start doing this. And, um, you know, I feel blessed, bro. And then, you know, hopefully make something that people are feeling out there, you know, so. Working on the social side, people love this. And, you, and you're talking about, you know, being grateful. We're incredibly grateful to have you no, bringing, respect, bringing pieces that are not only so unique uh, to iconic characters, but, you know, they represent different cultures too. That yeah, yeah. Is sort of mold to things. This could be a, uh, you know, sort of the bridge for people into your culture, but the entry door is Batman. Right. So I, I've always loved that about your pieces with Wolverine and everything that you've done so far. So uh, thank you for joining us, man, for this. Oh, thanks for having me, really bro. Quick. I mean, it's a really, really dope piece. Yeah, so thank you all very much. You can see even more of Jesse's work. Head over to side.show forward slash Urban Aztec. You can read his artist profile, see things he's got coming out. And there are things on there that you can have today. You can have them shipped ASAP. Thank you all so very much. Thank you, Jesse. As always, it's a pleasure. And as always, don't forget to let your geek side show. Thank you, brother. Later, everyone. This one's mine, though. Sorry, oh, well, we, we need that. Jesse. <laughs> <laughs>